Okay, guys, so today let's play a bit with text class title that is available in DaVinci Resolve in Effects Titles Text Plus. I want to show you how it works, uh, how you can customize it to your needs and how you can even animate it. Um, there is a lot to show. I will probably not touch all the settings, all the controls, but hopefully you will learn something. You will understand better this effect and use it more often. Okay, so without further ado, let me grab this text to the uh, our to, to our timeline. I will place it in track number two uh, because I want to put a background beneath. So in the generator, I will take the solid color, the simplest one, and let me close effects. And in the inspector, I will change the color to uh, gray. Okay, like that. Now, in the text, as you probably know, plenty of settings, controls you can play with, but more advanced features are hidden. What? Or maybe not hidden, are, but are located in shading tab. You got eight elements uh, to play with, and uh, those elements uh, can be seen as layers. Uh, the first one is on top, and uh, element number eight is at the bottom. So, for instance, uh, right now we have only first element enabled. If you disable it, you no longer see your text. So let me go uh, for a moment to the element number two and enable it. As you see, it's a red outline. It's a preset like that. You can change it to your needs. That's what we're going to do today. The appearance was text outline. You can switch it, for instance, to text fill. And we no longer see our red text because it's underneath our white text, which is uh, defined in element number one. Let me go back to element number one. And instead of a text, I will transform it to, to a line. So the text is underlined. So to do that, you need to play with the settings you got here. So first I will change the appearance to border fill which will change my letters to uh, rectangles. And I will increase extend horizontal control. So it looks like one element. Now, if I scroll down, there is size uh, control. So I will decrease the Y X and increase X like that. Um, you can play with other settings too, but to not uh, make this video too long, God damn right. I will just show you what, what's most interesting in my opinion. So in softness section, you can modify X and Y softness. I will add some X softness. As you see right now, our line is nicely blurred at the beginning and at the end. And if we go below, we have position. So we can place our, our line under the text like this. So as you see, we've created a nice line under our text in element number one. Now let's go to, uh, let me go back to text for a moment oh, come on! and change my um, font to extra bold and modify the tracking. The nice thing is that if you change the, the settings, other elements are adjusted uh, automatically. Let's say this is our font and this is our settings in the text tab and go back to shading. So element number one is ready. We can go to element number two, which is our red text. Let me change the color to white again. And maybe instead of solid, I will choose gradient. What I'm going to do is uh, change the mapping level to text. So the gradient is applied to the whole text and not only uh, to each letter individually. Okay. Let me do it like that. Like so. Basically play to your needs. Okay, let's say this is what we want. Okay, so second element is fine. Let's go back to the third element. 
which is called black shadow. If you enable it, this is what it says. It's black shadow. But I will change it a bit. I want this shadow to look in a more 3D manner, so I will go down to the um, rotation and as you see you can um, manage uh, three axes. So for instance X like that and in here you can further customize it. In size I will make Y bigger. Okay, so let's say this is what we want. You can change the opacity if it's too strong. I will do it right now. So decrease opacity, we cut something like that. Shadow element is ready. In fourth element, it's called blue border. Of course, you can change the name to whatever you like. So in blue border, I will switch it back to uh, text outline and uh, or maybe not i will i will make it text fill i will change to black and let me zoom in and in the uh, position let me move it down and right so the text is more like 3d okay like that okay now it looks um Hopefully it looks more 3D now. And in the softness, I will add just, just a bit of softness. Okay, so let's say this is also ready. In element number five, let me enable it. So what I'm gonna do is um, switch it to text outline. Okay, so this is before and after. So the text would be uh, pretty much ready. This is how you can modify the text and make it look as you wish with all these elements. The possibilities are almost endless. So maybe let's stop here with the text. I don't like this uh, line. It's too thick. So let me go to the element number one and let's try to make it thinner like that and change the um, position like that and the color because uh, it's too white. Let's make it maybe a uh, dark gray. Okay, so our text, uh, let's say our text is ready. What else you can do is uh, apply effect from the effects library, for instance, uh, glow, which is in open effects. Just drag and drop it to the clip. And let me close effects and make sure you check alpha limits effect. And basically you can now add some glow. Let's say I want to make it, um, I don't know, blue. Uh, and let me increase gain and shine threshold like that. So yeah, this is before and after. It looks even much cooler in my opinion. So yeah, let's say our title is ready. Uh, we like it uh, as it is. And now we want to animate it a bit. Let's try to create some kind of reveal effect. And remember, we are still in text plus. We did not uh, use Fusion yet and it looks already cool in my opinion. It's only text plus. Yes, yeah. Piece of cake. Okay, so what we can do is, um, let's say we want the text to reveal from the bottom and we want to animate this, uh, this line also. So let me go back to element number one and go down to size. And let's say I want to keyframe. I want to animate this line so it appears like that. So this is actually really, really simple to do. All you need to do is keyframe this X parameters. So we are at the beginning of the clip. Uh, so we will set X to zero and create our first keyframe. Then let's go uh, a couple of, maybe one, a couple of frames farther, maybe here, and simply set the X value to your liking, like that. And we got our first animation so the line is nicely appearing yeah now we want the text to reveal from the bottom 
that is uh, more complex and uh, more keyframing uh, is involved, but we are still in edit page and, and we do not touch Fusion. So for someone who is not into Fusion, this solution should be uh, ideal. In order to do that, we need to keyframe all other elements in the shading tabs. Because if we, uh, for instance, keyframe only element number two, we go to position and we want to keyframe it. As you see, only the element number two is moving. The rest is, is stationary. So yeah, that's uh, the con of this solution that we need to keyframe all those elements uh, and be very careful to, to do it the same way. Uh, so let me uh, keyframe the second one. So let's say this is the position of the playhead where the text should be already visible. So let me go down to the uh, position and create my first keyframe. Now let me go to the beginning of the clip and um, set the uh, Y value. Let's say somewhere here, or let's simply put value that is easier to remember. So minus 0 0.5. So this is our begin beginning position and it will slowly reveal. So we need to do the same with other parameters. I will fast forward it for you. So this is what we got so far. We've got uh, a reveal animation. We need to make some kind of mask. And as you know, in edit page, using a mask is not possible the same way it is in Fusion. Ha! So what you can do here is, uh, let me place playhead somewhere here so we can see uh, the whole text. In settings, you got something that's called cropping. And that's the solution for us, because if we crop the image and the text from the bottom. So if I place the crop right where our line begins like that, we should be fine. Now we need to crop it even more. And this is how it looks, but our line is cropped also. So what we can do is uh, go back to title, shading uh, element number one. We can either change the uh, position of the line like that, so it's visible. If we are fine with that, we can leave it like that. If not, we need to keyframe all the elements again um, to so it's not visible at frame number zero, right? So we don't need to crop our line. And finally, as you see, the animation is, um, is not uh, natural. It's really linear. And in edit page, you don't have a uh, possibility. You don't have possibility to, uh, you know, ease the animation. So you can stop here if you don't want to go to fusion, but the last step I will do in fusion. No, God, please. No, it's really simple. It's a couple of clicks. No, no! So what you can do is open Fusion page with the playhead above the, our text, open Fusion page. And in Fusion page, let me close inspector. Uh, you should, you probably will see something like that. Go to spline. And you should see this little window down here. All you need to do is uh, to select all the displacement and not the size because the size was animating the, uh, the line underneath and the displacement was responsible for the elements reveal. Check all the displacements and click this uh, button which says uh, zoom to fit. Now just tap Ctrl A to select all, this key, all the keyframes in this panel and tap S and that's it. And you can uh, go back to edit page. So that will smooth out the animation. It looks much more subtle and uh, smoother. If you want to experiment with easing options, go back to fusion, <laughs> select all the displacement, control A. Now 
right click on this panel and go to ease in here you have different options the one i like is uh, outback cubic let me go back to edit page and see what it does isn't that cool uh, what else you can do with this title you might want to create reveal in and reveal out so of course you can keyframe all the elements again but I think easier way to do it is um, just right click on the clip of your text clip and create new compound clip out of uh, the text click create now what you can do is make a copy of it so hold alt and uh, drag it away like that we have a copy of our uh, compound clip and in the inspector go to speed change and click reverse so if we play it now ah let me extend my background so if we play it now we will see reveal out animation so this is reveal in yeah because it's in the loop and we will have reveal out you can even select both clips and make another compound clip like that and you can change the speed of it change clip speed let's say twice as fast so 200 percent and let's see how it looks and we got our title reveal title done only using text plus uh, text hope you enjoyed that hope you learned something tap subscribe if you haven't already Thanks for watching guys, check out my other videos if you haven't already, leave a comment if you enjoyed that or not or if you have any question regarding this. Cheers and see you in the next one.